SDSR on Coney Day in a computers.com with the radio parity oi muy rapido. Wasting time rolling R's that the pale skin Europeans can't roll. <laughs> That's how I roll. You know what I'm saying? Let's cut to the chase. My MFC J480 DW printer stopped scanning and printing. I need help. Thanks. It says. This machine is not connected to your PC. Connect this machine and your PC via USB cable or network. Printers are a nightmare for me. The only time I troubleshoot them and attempt to fix them is if it's software problems. If if there's printer error codes on the printer flashing, you know, error 970 or 911 was an inside job. I mean, no. No. I do not fuck with printer errors that flash on the printer absolutely not i've had corporate experience government experience no if i think that the problem is the software or if somebody wants me to install the software for them or help them connect their new com- pr- printer to their computer and get the software installed and connect to it wirelessly that's fine that's fine you know what I'm saying? So quickly, muy rapido. I try. I tried to fix the issue without removing the software and reinstalling because when it comes to printer manufacturer brother Hewlett Packard Canon, oh, it can turn into a quagmire, especially on Microsoft Windows operating system. Removing the software can turn into a nightmare. Sometimes you can't even remove the software; it gets all fucked up. Sometimes you have to use a third-party tool to remove the software. A lot of times it requires a reboot. You're dealing with mental midgets. Most of these individuals don't even remember their goddamn fucking Windows or Mac or Apple ID passwords. And if they lose connection with you, they don't even know how to check their email, log back in to... The, this website and then contact me that's how mental midgeted they are a lot of times I've noticed with printer removal and insulation it requires multiple reboots and you'll get some weird errors just like this one so a lot of times I try to go into depends on what operating system printers you know on Microsoft operating system it's what printers and scanners on Windows 10 Windows 7 is like I think printers or whatever device, whatever whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) I have to sit here and go back and forth between Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, and Mac, and it's like, all right. And then, so I do some some quick troubleshooting. I try to ping the printer. I try to use the manufactured software. Brother Utilities could not connect to the printer. It said it was unavailable. I, f- I found the IP address by going into the control panel and the printer settings itself. But a lot of times you don't want to fuck with that and I never remove the printer from control panel because just in case. And I always jot down the IP address. I couldn't ping it. I had the client, the individual, power off the printer, power it back on. No bueno, muy mal. Couldn't connect to the motherfucker. So I was like, you know what, after fucking around with it for a while, trying to troubleshoot, trying to fix it quickly or with a easy, a, a less difficult fix, I was like, fuck it. So I cut to the chase. So this is what I do when I cut to the chase. Number one, I, I try to jot down the IP address and, or go into the printer properties and kind of just check out to see how it's connected. Because again, you're dealing with mental midgets. These people don't even know how they're connected to the printer. They don't know if it's USB or Ethernet or wireless. They don't even know what those terms mean half the time. You know what I'm saying? So just kind of make sure that you you realize how the printer is connected. So what I did was then I removed the software. Then I used my preferred PC optimization tool. Click on the link in the description box below. They're taking my blog post on my website, anycomputers.com, where I included a direct link to my preferred PC optimization tool. I always run the PC optimization tool after I remove the printer software and before I reinstall the printer software. And I have a lot less problems when I do that. You know what I'm saying? Because 
Printer software is notorious for not cleaning up after itself. It leaves a lot of junk files on the hard drive. The registry is full of garbage. And it, it could be it could be the corrupt registry entry that is causing the printer not to work. The software does not detect the printer, and it could be a registry entry. This computer required multiple reboots. I got a funky error, but then after the reboots, the print the software finally was completely removed then I run the PC optimization tool then I went ahead and reinstalled the Canon excuse me <laughs> brother software I'm not a Freemason I'm not calling you a brother I know there are the information technology shills all over YouTube flashing 666's and wearing checkerboard black and white shirts you know what I'm saying the Freemasons are disgusting to me secret societies are repugnant to me they're scum. All right. Printer installs can be just, they can take forever. And, you know, it's like, but it's a necessary evil. Now, one other caveat I forgot to include in my blog post, I need to run, is this printer, I had to, it, it found the printer. So I ran the installation, the brother installation software detected the printer when, when the customer or when I picked the correct way which was wireless however which is good HP yeah, not so good with when, when with some of the instructions brother I, in my opinion does a better job it showed a screen giving the user instructions on what it, what to do next it said go to the printer click on the Wi-Fi button and then come back to the computer and it should automatically connect and it did and it, it gave a screenshot it showed the little icon and it gave really specific instructions on what to do once the the client did that the software continued on it gave the printer an IP address I took the IP address I pinged it just in case I was able to ping the printer the install after about a thousand years and you know a thousand naps it finally installed the software. It, I think it did it require a reboot. It may have required a reboot. And then, then I printed out a test page. Then I just needed to instruct. Another problem, when the individual tried to scan from the printer, the button didn't work. It gave the same error that was at the beginning of this blog post. However, when I scanned from the Brother Utility software, it worked. I just I had to tutor. I had to instruct and describe and show the client on how to scan from the computer. So that was a workaround. That was an acceptable workaround. I just had to educate them. And everything worked. Printing and scanning. So but trust me, sometimes trying to get printer software reinstalled is not doesn't go this smoothly. You know what I'm saying? Adiós.